We wanted to really test the approval process for medical devices. If we would build a vaginal mesh that was so dangerous and so ridiculous, would we get it through? So we bought a net of mandarins and we went to the notified bodies and we said, would you approve this? And they didn't see any problem. This story is about things that are implanted into people, an area of medicine that is largely under-regulated. Hips that help people to walk, artificial lenses that allow people to see. Certain devices help people, but you have certain devices that really permanently scar people. It makes sense to team up with a big team of journalists and say, why are these implants hurting the patients in our country? It's not like drugs. You don't have clinical trials for every device. A lot of these products are inserted into people without any testing. As patients, people realize that they've been part of the evidence gathering and the experiment. The 911 call reveals Bridget Robb's raw agony. Oh, I'm not ready to die. Screaming with each shock <laughs> of the defibrillator malfunctioning in her chest. The pinnacle hip implant, it was not tested in humans before it was sold and surgically implanted. Many of the companies will come to Europe in the first place to get market experience. And then if the device survives, they take it to America. And now, instead of the standards getting better for implanted devices in particular, they're getting worse. All the focus is on, on getting products to market more quickly because that's what industry wants. And that race to the bottom could be a huge problem. In many parts of the world, there are no regulators whatsoever. L'affaire des implants périmés continue de susciter des réactions au sein de l'opinion nationale togolaise. Johnson & Johnson is accused of selling faulty hip devices to over 4,700 patients in our country. When something goes wrong with the device, if the manufacturer isn't reporting it and the physician and the patient don't take that step, then you're not going to have the full story. The public don't know when products fail. They don't know what the track record is of the products that they're getting implanted into them. We've uh, grabbed all of the public records we can. We've asked our journalists to submit our freedom of information requests around the world. And we will actually begin to do what authorities are not doing. A combination of low requirements in the legislation, lack of transparency, and conflict of interest is really fatal to patient health. We want to know what's happening with certain devices. Patients are entitled to know this.